The defence industry of India is a strategically important sector in India. With strength of over 1.39 million active personnel, it is world's second largest military force and has the world's largest volunteer army. The total budget sanctioned for the Indian military for the financial year 2018 is $62.8 billion, about five times what it spends on education and welfare. Despite having a modest internal defence industry, India is the largest arms importer in the world, with most of its arms purchases coming in from Russia. 12% of worldwide arms exports by value reach India. Topic: <laughs> Military budget. Topic. The military budget of India is about 1.49% for year 2018–19 of the total GDP. However, it spends nearly an equal amount in importing arms from other countries. Its defence expenditure for the 2017–18 fiscal year, based on allotments by its Ministry of Finance was 86,488 crores for defence capital and 296,000 crore rupees for defence pensions. State orders Topic. India has been spending worth nearly $3.5 billion to boost its aging Soviet-era military equipment. It has been pushing for greater indigenization of the military industry as India imports around 70% of its defence hardware mainly from Russia, Japan, Israel and United States. Arms exports. India's track record as an arms exporter has been modest. It exports arms to Mauritius, Sri Lanka, Vietnam and UAE. In March 2011 New Delhi agreed to sell its first indigenously designed and built multi-role offshore patrol vessel named Barracuda, to Mauritius. In March 2017, India finalized a deal with Myanmar for sale of indigenously developed lightweight torpedoes worth 37.9 million United States dollars. Similar naval platforms were sold to Sri Lanka and Vietnam as well. In September 2017, Ordnance Factories Board secured its biggest export order from UAE for the supply of 40,000 pieces of a component used in Bofors artillery guns for 322 crore rupees. Organizations The production of Indian defence equipments prior to 2011 was completely in the hands of the Government of India. The Government of India also opened up the foreign direct investment to 49% from the existing 26% and thereby increasing flow of funds from foreign countries. With the increase in FDI cap, private players such as companies from many developed countries will also be attracted to the Indian defence economy as they can have share in the Indian defence companies. State run Make in India the Modi government in its first year cleared 39 capital procurement proposals, of which 32 proposals worth 889 billion rupees $12 billion or 96% of value of total proposals were categorized as buy Indian and buy and make Indian. The top two prioritized domestic industry-centric procurement categories as per the Defence Procurement Procedure DPP. .In July 2015, the Defence Ministry eased export regulations and stopped demanding multiple assurances on end use from foreign governments even for sale of components by Indian entities. There are several Indian SMEs that cater to the defence industry by supplying sub-assemblies and components and providing services like system integration. Under the Make in India initiative, these organizations are set to enhance their manufacturing and development efficiency, thereby contributing to making India self-reliant in defence production. Some of the system integrators catering to the defence sector in India are Tanbo Imaging, Alpha Designs, Astra Microwave and SLN Technologies among others. References 